Heard Mr. Moreau's offering $500 to the man who kills that cocksucker. That nigga be stupid to come around here. All these men, all well, these yeah, guns. Talks, Fuck. His ass would be walks. dead before he knew what hit him. Just keep that thing loaded. Last thing we should do is underestimate this asshole. I know he was here. I think that asshole's still around. He's picking oh, us up. Take cover. I ain't ready to die. I'm not fucking ready. Look behind him. I'm stuck. Gotta take more. <laughs> Drink it still. Shoot it. Where's he at? Just spy, oh, asshole. Oh, oh, oh. How to shoot? <laughs> Don't look back. Just get to the phone. Took down Bel Air and Frisco Fields. Just so we're clear, we'll not be using this place to fucking sell people. We'll find another way to make money from it. Good deal. You're making the right call coming to me to secure both rockets. You won't be sorry. Remy Duvall came from one of the most respected and wealthiest families in Louisiana. He invested in everything from oil wells to real estate, and he used his social status to get a radio program. Now, he used his radio show to preach about the collapse of polite society and the superiority of the Southern way of life. His family had been here for a couple of centuries, so his death was a shock. But even more shocking was the revelation that he was associated with the Southern Union, a group of wealthy racists who used their social positions to agitate against blacks. Remy Duval, he was crucified and then burned alive. How do you justify that type of behavior? Remy came from a long line of Southern cocksuckers, was always quick to trot out that war of Northern aggression and the South will rise again bullshit. Here's the thing about Remy. In 1965, he participated in the murder of four civil rights workers, one of whom they decapitated. They never found her head, so fuck him, he got what he deserved.
Sounds like your assessment of Remy Duval was spot on. Listen to this. Look at what he's doing to us. Our neighborhood, our homes. Half of one refused to sit by and watch as some rubber-lipped nigger runs roughshod over everything we hold dear. And what is it you hope to accomplish? I will strangle that motherfucker! That's what I'll accomplish! I apologize. Shouldn't use that kind of language. He is egging you on, Remy. You are much too important to be caught up in all of this. Is the situation unfortunate? Of course it is. But nothing he is doing changes anything. Let Sal's men handle it. Sal's men? Olivia, the people of this neighborhood expect me to protect them, not some greased-up WAP assholes. No, 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 I need to respond to this. I need to send a message to those niggas and the guineas that here in Frisco Fields, we take care of our own. This is a mistake, Remy. You could jeopardize everything we have been working toward. Our very way of life is at stake, and you think I give a god Damn about some casino. Sometimes I think you've forgotten your station in life, Olivia. A minute or so later, Olivia called Sal. Told him Remy's Southern Union pals were out looking for you. If you head back up there, I'm sure it won't be long before you run into some of them. Get them to tell you which hole Remy's hiding in. Yeah, once I'm done with that prick, Olivia's next. Getting to someone like her ain't gonna be easy. Between Marcano's men and all those rich white assholes she runs around with, they'll spot me coming a mile away. I need you to look at our options. Come up with a plan. Okay, I'm gonna look at our options and come up with a plan. What's wrong with you, man? Personal hygiene is very important. <laughs> I'll send him some new wheels to Delray Hollow. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her out of here. Here's your car, boss. That's a big hill.
Think I'm afraid to die? Come try me, asshole! <laughs> 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 Duval, where is he? <laughs> Go on, man. He's putting together a hunting party with the Union boys. <coughs> For your ass. Up near the old lookout point. Tonight. Guess they'll have to start without you. See how they came waltzing in, decked out in their fancy white robes? My daddy used to say the only thing worse than a nigga is a rich white man putting on airs. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Those assholes would come on out from Mr. DeBall's speech. <laughs> Might even... <laughs> century it was right in this spot where my great 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 grandfather joined his brothers in the defense of Louisiana against northern aggression now he died
get this shit done! Frisco Fields is one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn niggles. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on! Frisco Fields and need some new wheels. Just gonna take a squirt. And I'll get her out here. Car, boss. That's a big help. We need help. Be advised. Hit and run reported in Frisco Field. Suspect is described as a colored male. All units. Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Have a listen. Not for nothing. Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. 
Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> You sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. Got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> if they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see, everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga, that's they job. Had me out there, fucking asked me where I got my car, where I'm from. You best get in that uniform or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for poor Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't been... Get them folks their drinks now. Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. 
So do they have a suspect? Not a one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends Stick all the, the way back the to other Europe. Negroes. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. <laughs> Oh, come on now. <clears throat> you know we're gonna beat them to the moon, right? Damn reds won't get the jump on the U.S. We find this shine who killed Remy over that He's bottle, gonna man. He's dead. Reginald, please keep your voice down. What? Oh. He's probably one of the, the problem with that crowd is they've convinced themselves that being it's all wealthy right. means that they He's resting with Jesus now. Me. She I'm says I don't talk to her enough. Like I can get a word in it. When you're right, you're right. Yep. She hands me these brochures in Mexico, Brazil, I mean, every last goddamn oh, dime is gone. Yeah, you. I say, Jesus. Jesus. If I'm what am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind him to maintain I why I tried, brother. Because right now, language. it's the so, only thing the Southern we're Union going has to, to her folks in Hartford again. Remy mm -hmm. would have appreciated it. That's Let's be so civilized lovely. about this. There's right, there's God wrong, damn right. there's crazy. And then... Well, as being a flag yeah, waving well, dinosaur. She's my wife, and, and I shouldn't have to beg for it. It's all broke. Sure thing. Whatever you say. Hey, I've never actually seen bring the that nephew bottle over here. I had it some money. Maybe. My condolences. What do you know? Every well, time I see one of them let's hippies, just say there was a lot more right to the, the Duval if you fortune say so. when his daddy yes, died. I'll miss him too. Shame we had to let her go. She's been with us since our boy was in diapers. But you tell me, what was she thinking? Letting her son into our pool like that. First, it makes me wonder what she's been up to behind our backs. But more than that, what kind of ideas has she been putting into my son's head? I see what you mean. Thank you. Yes, he was a good man. Big. Big old man dingo nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. 
That'll be the damn day. Men on the moon? I could give a shit. Because they're all going to be white. Fuck them. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hell with that, man. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crowd. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, you, me, him. We're all connected. <laughs> Holy shit. What? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> See yet <at> Sunday mass. <laughs> God damn God. These people yeah. have their minds. I see him. I see Remy. No. Something's wrong. Oh. Get me out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say-so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They all come <laughs> down with some kind of... What? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. Lydia, get I wish down. you stayed in bed. Don't you know your name? Someone protect Mr. Connor. Just like Huttons make work, boys. Can't <laughs> I never thought you get shot. Precisely. The first time I saw Lucio, he looked so handsome. Dash. He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. There was always something terribly romantic about all of this. There ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Maybe not. But it certainly was exciting. Where's DeGarmo? Uh, uh, DeGarmo. Uh, uh, they have me out in a building. Down by the water. Uh, 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 thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble.
like trouble. <coughs> asking you a second time, boy. You've a sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing! you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. You can handle what I'm done. Ah. He gets to near. Oh, God. He's dead. Got you all to myself. That stupid son bitch. Circle around here. boys you and me motherfucker My hand is ruined! I barely even knew Remy! Available unit. Suspicious individual in the vehicle. 
That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano? I'm gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay, thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. before they do. We're gonna die right here on this road. Shit, ah! What happened to Steven DeGarmo? Lincoln left him with me and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? Like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. you send? I did it myself, ear to ear, just like you wanted. Good boy. Leave us alone. I got business to discuss. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. See, si, certo. I never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. It brings down too much heat. No, I do not drink. Georgie, tell you why I wanted to meet. He said the nigger is causing you problem. That you wish to discuss a deal between the two of us? I'm building a casino across the lake. 
I had it all set. Now the rights to the land are all tied up, it's that goddamn mess. You won my money. I'm gonna need enough to pay for all the blood-sucking lawyers, and that's not cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you won my money. Say those words, please. I want your money. This is good. I will bring you the money. And in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city. And you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. But that's not the only thing that you... You also wish for me to kill the nigger? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. The district's locked down just as you asked. Me and my boys are just waiting for your word to make ourselves comfortable. Here's the thing, Lincoln. Getting you boys in here vying for turf is guaranteed to end up a pissing contest. Just easy on everybody if you give me the territory like you did last time. Come on, you know me. You got me running most of the fucking city. And hell, man, doing what I'm doing here for you is in my fucking blood. And I'll spill any amount of that blood to defend it. Wait till I see the Irish rolling up the streets. Give me the keys to the kingdom, partner. Share the wealth, Lincoln. I get it. You gotta con... Sammy raised you right, lad. Trust your instincts. This one's all you, Bert. You're a goddamn genius, lad. Guess we'll see how the next one goes. I'm gonna call this if no one else will. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. 